Well, we go to these lectures after lectures after lectures, and they tell us this is going to happen. The earthquakes, the tornadoes, you're going to open up your fridge, it's going to steal you. All sorts of stuff is going to happen. You know what they tell you? <laughs> they tell you all these things. But no one says, when you get inside the fridge and you can't get out, what do you do? No one's giving you, what do you do after the fact? You can see from this experiment that Dr. Green used trauma, drugs, post-hypnotic suggestion, and more trauma in an effort to gain total control of my mind. Obviously, a lot of people are concerned about an intrusion of privacy. Absolutely, sure. You're getting scanned. It's not just children getting brainwashed on cartoons. It's everywhere. This is the first, first ever to have microchip identification devices implanted into their body. Is there, for example, a microchip, a watch, a tracking device we can use for our kids? And just around the next high-tech corner, an electronic chip like this that can be implanted under your kid's skin. The LD stands for Personal Locating Device, which is an implantable GPS for which our company owns a patent and can be implanted surgically in the clavicle area of a child or someone that you are interested in tracking. He is a British scientist. And that's not all he is. He's the first person on the planet Earth who got infected by a computer virus. We tell you that there are ways for you to completely, um, I guess, uh, discredit the vast inventory of what it is you're saying. Dr. Green was using me mostly as a mind control subject from 1966 to 1973. His objective was to gain control of my mind and train me to be a spy assassin. Jason, how does a human being get infected by a computer virus? Unless the computer's human or the human's computer. off the shore of Haiti. He adds that this time it was only a drill and the final target is destroying and taking over Iran. The existence of a tectonic weapon has never been proved but its use is often suspected by conspiracy theorists. Thousands of government sponsored experiments did take place at hospitals, universities and military bases around our nation. Some were unethical not only by today's standards but by the standards of the time in which they were conducted. The chromosome is the DNA containing linear body. Linear means straight of the cell nuclei responsible for the determination and transmission of hereditary characteristics. Now the chromosome then must have all of the information of the ancestors locked into it. This is why this devil, this geneticist, who is the new Gnostic, huh? The geneticist is the new Gnostic. He now has the ability to get into the library of your experience and start picking out what he wants of the information and start playing inside of who you are. Not who you want to be or who, who you are so that he will make you who he wants you to be. Listen carefully. Last thing that you do is defend information. How exactly would this work? Well, there's a... I gathered a few bits of information beyond you. The community. I guaranteed our mindset would change it. Stop. 
evidence. That's got powerful stuff. Just think about it. Because ignorance is a food source.